I'm back again with My Life is Crafty. These are um, little girl earrings that I make for my nieces or for uh, my friends, daughters, or anyone like that. And these are actually um, little ornaments or pieces that you may get from the craft store that um, you can put on necklaces or anything of that nature. As you see, it has a hole at the bottom. But what I like to do, I like to buy these because I can make pairs of earrings for little girls. And these are butterflies, which they come in all different types of assorted colors. And these are just flowers. You can put these as necklace too. As you see, it has a hole at the bottom. But once you glue the back on, you can't see the holes. So you can put them on like that or whatnot, but you can't see the holes. And you can make these instead of buying them out the um, store. And here's another one. It's a um, flower. And it has a hole in it, but it has a very small hole. So what I like to do, I buy a bag full of these, and I make earrings out of these as well. And sometimes I may make a necklace if they ask for a necklace, but I make mostly earrings. But this right here, these are the fine. These, these are the back of the earrings, and these is the stud that goes through the earlobe itself. And these are sterling, sterling silver pieces, just to let you know, because some people may be allergic to it. Or you can get the hyperallergenic kind that um, different craft stores sell. But I use the E6000, and what I do, too, um, with the E6000, I use that on mostly all my jewelry. I don't use hot glue, because hot glue, normally, um, it doesn't... It doesn't hold well, and once it gets hot, it's going to come off. So don't use the hot um, the hot glue. And what I do, too, I use um, different other types of glue. But I found that the E6000 is the best glue for me. And what I'm doing, I'm trying to show you how I would actually put that on the back of an earring. And you have to be careful with this E6000 because it comes out very fast and you don't want to waste you know some of your um, glue so what I do with the E6000 I may squeeze it out here and you see it there and I do it like this because I want to hold it in there because if you don't as you see it'll come start coming back out and you don't want that because you're wasting glue and you could be using it for something else. So, make sure you put the top back on. And just say, okay, I'm going to show you each one. I'm going to um, show you how to do it. This is the finding. The back of the earring that sits up. So, I take it and I dab it in the glue. And just say... I want to make this white one. I'll take it and put it on the back of here. Like that. And I press it down. And then I wipe it with my finger to get the remaining glue off of it. So, and I wipe it on my little cardboard I have here. But that's one way of making earrings for the girls if you can't afford it. And you want them to have different colors and different shapes. And see, it's an earring now, and it's pretty. And this one, the flower, is easy because you have that particular little um, circle on the flower. And I take, again, the back of my earring and dip it in the glue. And I place it on the back. Place it on the back of the flower. And you have to make sure it sticks in the right place. And again, now you have that stud earring for your daughter or niece or friend. And that's the second earring, as you see. And now this one, the other flower, the five-petal flower. I take it and I put some more glue on the back. And I take it and I put it here. On the back, 
And this E6000 is very, very good. It doesn't move. It sticks to plastic, wood, whatever. And what I do, I just made three different pair of earrings. Four little girls. And there you have it. And as you see, these pieces there are very, very cheap. So you can get like a whole bag full of different flowers of different colors for like a dollar and something or maybe two dollars. But there's your three pair of earrings that I made. That's one. That's the second one. And here's the little butterfly. And they are fairly cheap.